Hello and welcome to watching this video. In this video, I want to teach you how you can create this global illumination in Cinema 4D R17. Okay, first create a new project and create a plane and change width and height, for example, here. And in display, select shading line very good now create a sphere change it to here okay here is good okay now you should select make editable and after that select polygons and now as you can see we can select polygons now in select you can use ring selection and select some rings for example here and now press shift and here here and here okay select that now create new material and double click that here uh, we need laminance turn on this checkbox and now change color uh, for example change it to red and here in color change it to red again very good and in reflect select add and you can use backman and now reduce this line for example here is good and you can increase a little roughness that's good and now add this material to this orange and selected polygon very good now as you can see it's select now don't click anywhere and go to select and after that select invert as you can see now it's select another polygons now create a new material and in reflectance click add back one first change color to black and here reduce global reflection brightness and mm, I think 54 specular is good okay now drag and drop to this selected polygons very good now select another as you can see it's like this okay now for reflective you can create plane another plane and now um, in MoGraph add cloner and this plane you should underneath this cloner and select this cloner and change it to grid array and change this tree change it to one change it to here and now increase size here and increase this to here very good now change it to here very good now create another material and just um, add laminates drag and drop this material to this cloner very good now when you render this as you can see it's good now in render setting select this edit render setting and here in effect add global illumination and um, in anti-aliasing changing to best now again select render and waiting for render that as you can see it's much better 
and now in math you can increase this brightness and for example change it to 300 um, and now when you render that it's better um, now you can add a cube change position to here and change size in X change it to 50 50 in X and 50 and 50 in Z okay it's good and now change um, X in Y change it to for example 10 it's good now in deform option select twist and change position of this twist to here and select twist and now you can change it to 55 and here 55 it's good change it okay very good now increase this angle now you should drag and drop this twist underneath this group as you can see it's like this very good now select this cube and change make air table as you can see it change now select your cube and again in select select ring selection and select that ring now press shift and select another ring for example here here very good and now um, you can right click here and in X and in extrude you can extrude a little example here okay and add this red material and now in select select invert and add this black material very good now when you render that As you can see, it's really cool. You can use this global illumination for lighting object. Um, for example, um, you can add subdivision surface and drag and drop this cube underneath subdivision surface. For example, it's look like this now when you render that it's cool and if you want you can uh, for example with select uh, first select this sphere and in select menu select ring selection and again select this red polygon press shift and again select select and select now right click here and for example select smooth shift and when you select that here is better and now when you render
as you can see it's really cool and um, you can select this sphere and after that select this model option and here select scale and reduce size of this scale and in MoGraph select clone and drag and drop this sphere underneath this clone one and select this clone one and change mode to ring select this okay and in clone change plane to xz and now you can increase this count and change this radius change it to here and select this cube change it to here that's great and you can select this clone one and press ctrl c ctrl v and now when you reduce that as you can see create another and again select this cloner 2 press ctrl c and after that ctrl v and now increase this radius mm, here is good okay now you can add this black material to this plane um, select that increase a little that's good now when you render that as you can see it's really cool very good i hope you like this tutorial thank you for watching this video and goodbye